Hi everyone, I hope you have seen our previous videos. In the previous video, we talked about trigonometry and we saw many formulas of trigonometry. In this video, we are going to solve the exercise of Emil Agarbal. Exercise number is 18. Please subscribe my channel for more such videos. So let's start. So this is problem number one. Here given is A is an acute angle and sin A is 3 by 5. Okay. So first consider this triangle. Okay. In such kind of problem you always consider a triangle. Then it will be convenient for you to solve the problem. Okay. So here this triangle is ABC and this is the angle A. Okay. And this is angle 90. Okay. Now we know that sin A is perpendicular by hypotenuse. So this is the base, this is the perpendicular and this is the hypotenuse. Okay. So this will be BC by AC. Okay. Now it is given that sin A is 3 by 5. So BC by AC is 3 by 5. Okay. So BC equal to 3 and AC equal to 5. Okay. Now we have this value and this value. So we need this value of AB. Okay. For that we will use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Which is AB square plus BC square that is equal to AC square. Okay. Now from here AB equal to root over AC square minus BC square. Okay. Put the values of AC and BC. It will be 4. Okay. So now we have all the values. Okay. Now what is the value of cos A? Cos is nothing but base by hypotenuse. So it will be 4 by 5. Okay. Tan is perpendicular by base. So it is 3 by 4. Cot is 1 by tan A. So it will be 4, 1 by 3 by 4. So which is 4 by 3. Okay. Similarly, sec A is 1 by cos A. Which is 1 by 4 by 5. That is 5 by 4. And cosec A is 1 by sin A. So it is 5 by 3. So this is the answer. Now this is problem number 2. This is exactly similar to the previous problem. Okay, here given is A is acute angle and sec A is 17 by 8. Okay, so sec A, so consider this triangle first. Okay, this is ABC triangle and this is 90 degree and this angle is A. Okay, now we know that sec A is hypotenuse by base. So it is AC by AB. This is the base and this is the perpendicular and this is the hypotenuse. That's why this is AC by AB. So it is given that sec A is 17 by 8. So AC by AB is 17 by 8. Now AC is 17, AB is 8. Again use the Pythagoras theorem. So we need this length BC. Okay. So for that BC is root over AC square minus AB square. Okay. Now put the value of AC and AB. So after calculation we are getting it is 15 okay so what is sin a that is perpendicular by hypotenuse so it is bc by ac that is 15 by 17 similarly cos a is 1 by sec a since we have sec a that's why we are using this formula which is 1 by 17 by 8 so it is 8 by 17 okay similarly tan a that is perpendicular by base so it is 15 by 8. Cot A is 1 by tan A. So it is 8 by 15. Cosec A is 1 by sin. So it is 17 by 15. Okay. This is the answer. Now this is problem number 3. Here given is 12 cosec theta equal to 13. Okay. So from that we can write that cosec theta is 13 by 12. Okay. So what is the value of sin theta? Sin theta is nothing but 1 by cosec theta. So 1 by 13 by 12 which is 12 by 13. Okay. So we know that. So now see this expression. Okay. Here sin theta is there and cos theta is there. We already have the value of sin theta. Now we need the value of cos theta. So for that we are using this formula sin theta plus cos sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Okay. Now from there how can you write cos theta? Cos theta is nothing but root over 1 minus sin square theta. See here sin square theta that is that is coming to this side of this equation. And since it is cos square. So this that's why this root over is coming. Okay. So now 
put the value of sin theta we have the value of sin theta okay so it is 12 by 13 whole square because it is sin square so 12 square is 144 13 square is 169 if you do the calculation it will be 5 by 13 okay now you have the value of cos sin theta as well as cos theta you just put the value in this expression and after putting the value where you are getting this just do simple calculations and this will be 24 by 13 minus 15 by 13 and this is 48 by 13 minus 45 by 13 okay and if you do this calculation you will get this answer 3 so this is the answer now from the problem number 4 to 7 you cannot use trigonometric table actually problem 4 to 7 you have to solve by complementary angle formulas which are these so here you see that sin 90 degree minus theta that is cos theta similarly cos 90 degree minus theta that is sin theta tan 90 minus theta that is cot theta and cot 90 degree minus theta that is tan theta similarly sec 90 degree minus theta that is cosec theta and cosec 90 degree minus theta that is sec theta so you have to remember these formulas in this type of problem you always try to find two numbers which add up to 90 degree and also you have to use these complementary angle formulas okay now let's solve the problem number four so this is the given problem okay now you see that 64 and 26 if you add them it will be 90 okay so i can replace this 64 by 90 minus 26 okay and here also 54 plus 36 they add up to 90 degree okay so this 54 you replace by 90 degree minus 36 so that we can use complementary angle formulas okay these two formula will be used in this problem cos 90 degree minus theta that is sin theta cot 90 degree minus theta is tan theta see here cos 90 degree this is the value of theta so this is in the next step replaced by sin 26 only and here cot 90 degree minus theta is tan theta so it is tan 36 okay other terms are same as it is okay so now this is sin square 26 with this cos square 26 it will be 1 because sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 and this is just 1 so the answer is 2 it is very simple problem now let's see this problem 4 2 so this is the given problem okay here also we will use complementary angle formulas notice here that 73 plus 17 they add up to 90 okay so you can replace this 73 by 90 degree minus 70 degree okay similarly 68 and 22 they add up to 90 degree so this 22 will be replaced by 90 degree minus 68 degree okay similarly this 44 and 46 they add up to 90 degree so i replace this 44 by 90 degree minus 46 okay now we will use these three formulas cos 90 degree minus theta that is sin theta similarly cosec 90 degree th minus theta that is sec theta similarly cos 90 degree minus theta that is tan theta okay now use here here and here okay and you are getting this is sec this is tan and this is sine so it will be sine square because cos square is there okay so it is nothing but one this is also one and sine square theta plus cos square theta they, that will be one so it is the answer is three okay now let's see five one this is the given problem here also we will use complementary angle formulas okay so here 65 plus 25 that is 90 okay so we replace this 25 by 90 minus 65 similarly this 58 and 32 they add up to 90 so i replace this 58 by 90 degree minus 32 okay all other terms i am keeping as it is okay now here also 26 and 62 they add up to 90 degree so i am changing this 62 by 90 degree minus 28 okay now this for this value we actually know cosec 30 degree is nothing but 1 by sin 30 degree 
sin 30 degree is half so 1 by half is actually 2 that's why we are replacing this cosec 30 degree by 2 since this is a square so it will be square 2 square okay now cos 90 degree minus theta is sin theta similarly sin 90 degree minus theta is cos theta so I am just replacing them and here sec 90 degree minus theta that is cosec theta so I write cosec 28 degree okay now this will be one this will be also one here we know that sin equal sin theta equal to 1 by cosec theta so sin theta into cosec theta they will be one okay that's why this term is one again and this is four so do the calculation file will will be the answer now let's see 5 2 this is the given problem here also 61 plus 29 that is 90 okay so we replace this 61 by 90 minus 29 okay here cot 73 this term 73 plus 17 that is also 90 so we are replacing this 73 by 90 minus 17 similarly this 82 plus 8 they add up to 90 so I am replacing this 82 by 90 minus 8 okay and in this term also 38 plus 52 they add up to 90 that's why I am replacing this 52 by 90 minus 38 okay so after applying the complementary angle formula you get this is nothing but sec 29 and this cot 90 degree minus 17 it will be tan 17 and this cot 90 degree minus 8 that will be tan 8 degree okay and here also it will be cos 38 degree since this is a square this will also be a square okay we use these formulas okay okay these formulas we used so just uh, this will be 1 and cot theta into tan theta they are 1 okay because cot theta is 1 by tan theta so tan theta into cot theta that will be 1 also so this cot 8 degree into tan 8 degree they will be 1 similarly cot 17 degree into tan 17 degree they will be also 1 so these two 1 are because of that and now cot 45 degree what is the value cot is cos 45 degree divided by sin 45 degree cos 45 degrees value is 1 by root 2 and sin 45 degrees value is 1 by root 2 so if you divide that will be 1 also that's why this one is coming okay now sin square theta plus cos square theta they are also 1 so this is 3 into 1 so just solve it it will be 0 that is the answer now let's see 6 1 here also we will use complementary angle formulas okay here you see 55 plus 35 they add up to 90 that's why I am replacing this 55 by 90 degree minus 35 degree okay similarly here also so I am replacing this 55 by 90 minus 35 okay and 80 10 plus 80 they add up to 90 so I am replacing this 10 by 90 degree minus 80 okay because after applying the complementary angle formula this cosec will be sec okay so uh, we are using these formulas and after using this formula you are getting sin 35 degree into sin 35 degree this will be sin square 35 degree and here it will be cos square 35 degree so sin square theta plus cos square theta they are 1 okay and sec square theta minus tan square theta that is also 1 that's why 1 by 1 that is 1 is the answer okay now similarly 6 2 this given problem is this now here you notice that 56 plus 34 they add up to 90 so I am replacing this 56 by 90 minus 34 similarly this 72 and 18 they add up to 90 so I am replacing this 72 by 90 minus 18 okay now apply these formulas complementary angle formulas and you are getting sin square 34 is there so it will be sin 90 minus theta that is cos theta similarly tan 90 minus theta that is cot theta and cot 30 degree we know the value which is root 3 okay so root 3 is whole square because it is cot square okay 
Now tan into cot that is again 1 because tan theta is 1 by cot theta. Okay. That's why it is 1 only and sin square theta plus cos square theta that is also 1. So the answer is 0. Now 7 1 this is the problem. Given problem is this. Here you notice that 65 plus 25 that is that they add up to 90 degree. Okay. Similarly 65 plus 25 they add up to 90 degree. That's why we are replacing this 65 by 90, 90 minus 25 and here also we are doing the same thing. Okay. Now here 72 plus 18 they add up to 90. So that's why we are replacing this 90 minus 18. Okay. So just apply these formulas and you are getting this. This is a very similar kind of problem like previous. Okay. So after applying you are just getting uh, tan 25 divided by sec 25 whole square and cot 25 divided by cosec 25 whole square. Okay. And here also we are getting tan 18 into cot 18 and tan 45 we know the value actually. So tan 45 is 1. Okay. Now they this tan and this cot if you multiply them that will be 1 because tan theta is 1 by cot theta. Okay. Now this tan you write it as sin by cos. Okay. And this sec that is 1 by cos theta. So it will be reversed. So cos theta goes up. Okay. Similarly here also cosec is 1 by sin. So sin goes up and cos theta, cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. That's why this term is there. So you this, this cos theta and this sin theta are getting cancelled. And this is sin square 25 and plus cos square 25. This is 1 and this will be 2. So this answer is 3. Now in this problem here it is given that sec 90 minus theta. So it will be cosec theta and given that tan 90 minus theta so again it will be cot theta so we just replaced it okay and this 65 and 25 they add up to 90 that's why this 65 I am replacing by 90 minus 25 okay so if you apply these formulas you will get cos square 25 plus to sin square 25 and here it is cosec square minus cot square that is 1 and that is 1 also okay so the answer is 2. This is also a very simple problem. This is it for this video. In the next video onwards we will solve rest of the problem. I hope you like this video and if you do please hit the like button. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. I will see you in the next.